You're okay, girl. I'm keeping my eyes on you. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Glad to see you on the up and up. Enjoy your trip.
Hey, friend. Buenos días, señor. Got a smile on my face today. Ah, qué bien. Morning, Tim. Morning, friend. Come on, girl. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Martha. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. 
Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Different women are back hounding us again. Sounds like I heard what you heard. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. I mean, enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. 
Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from San Denis a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Okay, my 
my girl. Ain't even worth it. No harm done, right? Could you move out of the way? Hello, sir. Yep. Too flattened either. Thanks, mister. You help me out. Hey, Sheriff. Hello there. Mister? Mister? Partner? Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. Gum, candies, tobacco. All the good stuff are on the shelves behind my counter. Tonics and medicines are on the table over there. Everything else, you should see the catalog. Same price there is on the shelves. Hey.
Folks turn this place into a cattle town, which I suppose is for the best. Sometimes I think I should have just been a veterinarian. Thank you, Doc. I'll see ya. Hey, partner. Mister? Howdy. Hello there. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Been a long time. Now, let me have a look. Yep, this is the one. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? Carry it with pride. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. <clears throat> you know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Good, good. Yours now. You love it. I bet this will shoot better with some new sides. Fine piece. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Good, good. Got what I need. Oh, hell, mister, you look like you've been all whiskey and no stew. Thanks for your assistance. Good How evening. You evening, friend. I feel all sleepy. Why nobody stop me drinking? No, Brother Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. And quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. You blackguard. My friend, you there. Good for nothing, cheating bastard. I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. Shit. Fair and square, my ass. Hello, Hello. welcome. Fair.
Well, why don't you let Can I get a room for tonight, please? Room's all yours. Head on up. Your move. Oh, I remember you. Lost a bit of weight there, it looks like. Would you like any assistance? Sure. Sounds good. Good. Now don't you worry about a thing. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? You let me know if you need anything, all right? You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Goodbye now. I can hear that goddamn butcher whistling and shouting his lungs off. And the stink that comes through these walls, I can't believe it sometimes. On with my life. <laughs> hey, y'all. Lester. How do you do? It's real beautiful country around this area. Yep, I know. No, Brother Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. The white prince is talking 
like that in front of That's exactly what I'd expect from you. You blackguard, you foundling. Hey, get your head out My of your ass and move! You there. Yep. Let's go. I got places to be. sharpened up my scissors this morning. All right. What can I do for you? You go home with him. He made me burn downstairs. Oh, cheer up, will you? <laughs> You'll be the worst. You really are. <laughs> Parton like this, you'll be fit for Congress. Okay, guess we're about through here. Enjoy the compliment. I'm about to go belly up. Hey, mister. Mister? So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. 
People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. some movement in the distance. Over here, Arthur. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. <laughs> Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone! Who are you? A concerned citizen! Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? 
Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! The father won't be happy! My father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Yeah. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah!
us out somewhere. This is it! This... Well... Arthur... Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend, here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Um This is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith.
Okay, girl. Been a while. Yeah.
Fancy talk, eh? Raise your hands now. Hey, girl. Hi there. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious 
and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you, I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Sure, I can help. That's good. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Full ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Oh, for years he was the best man I knew. But he's been unraveling for some time now, and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what 
I was looking for. English mace. Okay, let's continue on. So anyway, it took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him, just as I see it with my son. Dutchie's got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Eagle Fly's got caught up in that. Now he's in jail. Sadly, Eagle Flies was ready to fight. I'm sure Charles will find a way to help him, but I just wanted you to know the situation. Well, I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. Yeah. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. When she got pregnant, she... She knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered $10. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then... Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. It's just... Up ahead.
you destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. This is a place of peace. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. This is a place of peace. More over here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh...
never made it. Something's over here. I'm sure. <laughs> Engines. It just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? Who's there? An Indian, anyway. She seemed nice. I think I saw someone. An Indian? What's that? Sure looks like one. Fellas! Over!
What's that? I heard something. What's got this horse boot, huh?
tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid.
good girl? Son of a bitch! Hey, partner! That's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? I ain't interested, fella. All right, no problem. No harm in asking. Ain't personal, mister. Well, maybe another time. You take care of that beautiful horse of yours. <laughs> Hey there! Okay, sure. Good luck. saw you over there.
Okay. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Mount up, sir. It'll be a bit of a ride. So, this Colonel Favor, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career, trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous.
This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Now all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise.
You all right there, friend? Hmm. Try to do what you can and stay safe. Goodbye. Ladies. Hello, friend. How are you folks getting on here? Hmm. Well, I wish you the best. May I say you're looking lovely today? Thank you. Be well now. Take care. Excuse me, partner. Hello. You seem to be having a hard time of it here. Ah. Anyway, good luck to you. Be well. Ma'am? Hello to you. Beautiful day. Good to be warm. Well, all the best. Goodbye. This weather. Not too often we feel the sun in our backs. Let's hope it continues. See you later. So then. All right. Who be? You okay, boy? Hi there. You folks okay? Mm. Well, take care now. Goodbye. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hi. I've had better days, that's for sure. Push him, I'll you. Ah, well, it ain't your problem. Doksha, okay. Hey, mister. Hello there. This is turning into one of them days. Hmm. Anyway, all the best to you. So long. You know, they asked me if anyone was really sick before I got my medicine. And hello they again. Hello. We have to stop meeting like this. Hmm. Well, I'll leave you to it. Goodbye. Howdy. Hey. Got a smile on my face today. That's good to hear. Anyway, I won't trouble you any longer. Bye. Partner? Hello there. You know when you have one of those days? Is that so? Anyway, onwards and upwards. Goodbye. Mister? Hello again. I always say, manners cost nothing. Oh, yes? You enjoy the rest of your day. Doksha. Hey there, mister. Mm -hmm. Hi. If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point, I say? Is that so? Well, nice to meet you. See you later. Hello, ma'am. Hello again. Just wish today was over already. It will get better. That's ah, all right. Sorry to intrude. Take care of yourself.
Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. <laughs> 